Hello everyone, in this question, students are investigating a material for the resistivity and let's just recall the resistance equation R rho, which is uh, resistivity divided by length over sectional cross area. To find out resistivity, you need to divide resistance by L over A. So, with the given information, sectional cross area, length and resistance, resistance is given so we just need to add one more column which is a derived information by dividing length over sectional area in the units of 1 over meters all right we are done with calculations for l over a and uh, to place this on the graph if you look at the equation resistance over L over A. So resistance should be placed on vertical axis which is Y in units of ohm and X axis should be length over area in the units of 1 over M. So resistivity we just jump to the second sec part of the question versus L over A in meters. Now it's asking you to scale the graph so look at the minimum number for l a l over a which is 61 and the highest is 263 and you have six sections so i would go with from zero and increase by 50 by 300 and if you look at the numbers for uh, resistance it goes from 23 to 105 and you have a uh, five sections but you can just leave it at 100 or 100 you can go for the 125 value 25 next part is placing the numbers on the graph so 61.2 versus 23.6 and i'll continue placing the numbers all right, I just placed the dots on the graph, so uh, it doesn't have to be super uh, accurate. Just get the estimate, and as long as you have a linear line on this one, you are good. Okay, this is a line, not a curved graph. So I'm drawing on a tablet, it's kind of harder. And uh, section three is asking you to estimate re the resistivity. So remember, if you calculate the slope of a uh, graph, which is tangent alpha, I'm solving three here, which will be rise over run. So if you get the highest number and uh, subtract the lowest number, or rise which is going to be 105 minus 23.6 divided by 263.1 minus 61.2 you can just get rid of the digits but it's, it's better to have one digit after decimal point meters which is going to be the uh, equal to resistivity 4 question 2b it's asking about the effect of shape and if you just recall the resistance equation rho l over a there is nothing about the shape as long as they keep the same cross area and length and uh, doesn't matter with the shape so they will not get a different answer as long as they keep the length and sectional cross area and the material same for the next part it's asking a, an, an experimental procedure to figure out the effect of temperature so what you can do you can just write it up uh, by keeping everything same other variables which is length sectional cross area and you can integrate potential difference if you want but not necessarily so uh, for this one you can just if you want to be super scientific you can even add it like table data table where length and 
section cross area kept the same you get uh, resistance and temperature for the next section it's asking for you to describe an experiment or design an experiment for the, to investigate the effect of temperature so if you have time you can even add a data table the main point is keeping all other variables such as length and sectional cross area and the type of material same there should be only one variable that you are going to change which is temperature and you can even place length area uh, resistance and so on and so forth but remember these all are going to be the same you will only investigate the effect of temperature in resistance so uh, at the end you can calculate the resistivity and you know you can go for a result for the temperature